What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. As you can tell from the title of the video, the name of the game today, Whopper Plopper Fishing. They're out here blowing up, exploding on the Whopper Plopper. So let's jump right into it, man. I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Whopper Plopper Fishing out here on Lake Travis. Let's go. everybody sunrise and I'm out here and I'm gonna see if I can get some top water blow ups around these docks I got the 90 millimeter whopper plopper tied on the little guy mini plipping and I'm gonna roll through here throw this thing around see if we can get somebody to do something on the top this morning I got a feeling all right let's get after it Had one hit it right there. He swiped at it, but missed it. it Might have been a bluegill, but there was a little blow up right there. It's a little, a little mini clip. Look at that. That fish just hit it, and the the plopper came flying out of the water. As soon as the plopper hit the water, smack! A fish comes up and busts it, and the lure comes flying out of the water. Over there in that corner. I don't know how I got around that dock cable, but I did. And right over there, a little fish came up and hammered it. Man, guys, the potential for top water is not gonna last long. And there was another blow up as my whopper plopper is over the dock cable. I think it's the, definitely have the wrong species of fish over here trying to eat our stuff. Oh, nope, there's a large mouth right there by the boat. I just need one of the big dogs to come up and hammer at one time. That'll make my millennium. Let's go. It's cool to see the little ones hit it, but I'm trying to catch one, man. There it is. There it is. First topwater fish, guys. Boom. Got one to hammer it, finally. Beautiful looking fish too. He's like gray and silver and blue instead of all like green. The sun hasn't come up yet, so they're all, they haven't got their color. Fish do change color with their mood, environment, whatever. First one on the day, on the whopper plopper. Boom, there it is guys. First official topwater fish on the channel. Stoked, man, let's get back after it, dude. See if we can get us another one. Later, buddy. Nice. Finally got one to hit it right over there by that tree. Shh. What just happened? That was sweet, dude. Top water. Everybody go down below, smash that thumbs up button for that top water fish right there. Oh, there's another one blowing up behind me. I do believe that is the first ever top water fish on the channel. Not for lack of trying. I've definitely tried to catch top water fish multiple times for you guys. Come out and throw the frog a bunch this summer. And I've been throwing the plopper too. Throwing the 130, bigger profile. Saw some of that in one of the previous videos here recently. Oh no, we might have just lost this one. <sighs> that is not good. It's up in the in the timber. Oh, I see it. I'm gonna be able to get it, I think. I think we might be able to get that back. There are definitely no fish up in there. There's no reason for me to be casting up in there that far. Crossfire. Crossfire. Caught up in the crossfire. Alright, we got our plopper back, guys. Now we can plip and plop. Our, the rest of the way around this cove. See if we can find another top water. 
Skadoosh. Crossfire. I didn't have anybody comment and tell me whether or not they heard a crossfire before. Nobody told me. Yes, I remember crossfire. So that was a bummer. All you, all you 90s kids out there, where you at? I know some of y'all played crossfire. I know some of y'all got caught up in the crossfire. Did you see that? It was another blow up. And he just hammered it and missed it. But that wasn't my fault right there. I waited, set the hook. He just missed it. And that fish must have been right down there on that tree. There's a tree right there. He must have come up out of that tree and just smacked it. But he barely missed it, and we weren't able to catch him. Still cool seeing him blow up on it, though. Man, seeing them seeing them explode on the plopper, man, that gives me hope. That, just, that, that makes me just want to run this wall for the whole day <laughs> just throw this plopper those top water blow-ups get exciting dude i feel like we need to chase the sunrise or chase the the darkness if you will and go toward the sun right Some duck buddies. What's up, buddies? There we go. Another one. He's... That one scared me. My hand came off the reel. Nice. Fish number two on the plopper. Boom. You think you wanted that thing? Heck yeah, dude. Got him hooked in the forehead. Let me help you. Let me get you undone here, buddy. Nice. All right, there he is, fish number two on the Whopper Plopper, man. Top water blow-ups out here today. Little 90 millimeter Whopper Plopper, 50 pound braid, straight to the lure. Top water, smash. That was a certified skadoosh. All right, guys, there's a quick look at that fish before I let him go. Second top water blow-up on the day. Super stoked to get that guy. Boom, I'm gonna get back after it, see if we can get a third one. Top water, so much fun, man. Had a bunch of blow-ups out here. Two fish in the boat so far, let's get it. Yeah, the, the, the sounds of the whopper ploppers, like the different sizes, each one has their own unique sound. You have the 90 millimeter, which is just a little, just a little mini ripper, the mini plipper. You just sort of, depending on where you have it, or it'll, if you run it deep like that, hear that? It's sort of, and then you have the 110, which that's when you really start plopping, I feel like. The 110 is where it really starts getting that plop sound. But if you really want to do some plipping and plopping, you tie that old 130 on. And that's where, the, there's another one. That's a little bit better fish. That 130 is where the magic happens. But here's number three on the 90 today. Nice. That's Guadalupe bass. Sweet. Nice guad on the whopper plopper, dudes. Oh, man, that is awesome. Look at that fish, dude. Sick. Boom. Third one on the day on the Whopper Plopper, and that is a beautiful Guadalupe bass, man. You guys look at that fish. Awesome. Dude, he is gorgeous. You are a looker, bud. Looks like a freaking hand grenade, man. Camo. You're badass. That is dope, man. It's one of my favorite fish. So cool. All right, guys, there's a quick look at that awesome Guadalupe bass, man. Look at the color on this fish. He is so pretty, man. That is an awesome looking fish fish man third one of the day on the whopper plopper top water bite could die off any second let's get this guy back in the water and get back to fishing one last look at that little guadalupe before we toss him back in the water later buddy off he goes three top water fish so far today one out of that first cut and then two out of this little cut right here so i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing Finally, some whopper plopper action, man. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this, guys. Too much fun. Three topwater fish. Man, I should have at least three likes on this video. All right, we pulled two out of there. 
let's move. Let's go to the next cut. Keep chasing the, uh, the darkness, if you will. We're following, uh, we're going towards the sun. So we try to, you know, delay the sunrise as much as possible. And just keep heading up into these little pockets, throwing the whopper plopper around, see if we can draw out a top water bite. This is fun, let's go. Oh look, you guys can see what the fish are eating. Little bitty tiny shad, do you see that? It's like that big on the water right there, little white speck, little bitty. Look at this, this is a thread fin shad and this is what the fish are eating. This is why it's so hard to get them to key in on a big bait right now because they're eating these tiny little bait fish. Let me show you guys something while I have this out of the water. Since I know that the bass are eating on bait like this, I went and picked these up recently. I want you to check them out. I should probably be fishing with these right now on a drop shot. Look at that, dude. Does that match the hatch or what? <laughs> that is exactly what they're eating. Dang, I should probably be throwing that, honestly. That is too close. There that is, just wanted to show that to you guys. That's a thread fin shad if you've never seen one. Pretty sure that's what it is anyway. But yeah, uh, crazy. I should probably be throwing this, but top water, too much fun. So. Thank you to everybody who is tuning in to this video right now. If you are not already subscribed, if you're a new viewer, please consider giving us a sub, man. Turn those notifications on. Help me grow this beast to 10K. We're gonna hit 7K any day. I'm gonna go eat some hay and lay by the bay. I just may. Oh, oh, just had some. Oh, look at them popping it. Boom, boom, ploop, plip. Chunk and wine, chunk and wine, man. That's the cool thing about uh top water is there's not not a lot of intuition involved you just fire it out there and reel it back you don't got to drag you don't got to wait for the bite you don't got to feel you don't got to oh was that a oh, wait for it to load up oh did i feel the bot was that a tree or was that a fish nah dude you freaking know you freaking know dudes because it goes skadoosh and then the next thing you know you got a fish the sun is rising too fast faster than my trolling motor can roll this boat around the sun is rising and look at all those zebra mussels Oops. All right, guys, I'm idling out of the cove now. I hit this whole cut with the plopper. Not even one little hit, not even from a bluegill. So I think it might be time to make a run, go find some different water, try to throw the plopper too, maybe throw a Senko or a Fluke or I don't know. But we're gonna stay out here, we're gonna keep fishing, we're gonna keep grinding, and hopefully get a couple more in the boat before we call it quits. Great day so far, man. Top water fish. Top water whopper, clipping and plopping. Caught up in the crossfire No, I threw that plopper right into that tree Oh cool, it came out Oh, look, look, look at all those fish hit There we go, got one It came up and smashed it while it was fouled up, dude bait all fouled up and he came up and smashed it while it was like rolling through the water all weird <laughs> nice nicest one of the day too he, he gave up halfway to the boat i was like i quit chill bro I'll get you unhooked man. yeah this fool just gave up on the way to the boat I was like you can have me you're good bro get this hook out of you you'll be set to jet there we go boom Nicest one of the day, four is more. Fourth fish on the whopper plopper out here smacking them on top of the water. And there he is, man, four is more. Nicest one of the day on the whopper plopper up here in this little cut right behind me, man. You can see the, the ledge just drops down off into deep water right here. And I moved up into this cover. He was up in these trees. The bait was all fouled up and it wasn't even going through the water properly. He came up and smacked it anyway. Missed it a couple times. Came back for it like a third time. Boom. Hammered it and we got him. Nice. All right. There's the last look at him. Let's let him go.
awesome guys fourth top water fish on the day this bet paid off i moved deep into this little cove trying to chase the shade and chase the trees finally i got up in here deep enough to find this little shady pocket stacked full of trees and i cast it up into it a few times but finally on that second or third cast he came out of those trees and smacked it as it was fouled up rolling through the water all funny all right let's keep rolling man pulled one out of here two little baby gar about that long swimming in front of the boat that was cool you guys probably couldn't see it normally i don't see the babies i only see the bigger ones out here there's another fish nice number five on the t on number five on the day top water whopping and plopping is what i was trying to say gosh got me tongue-tied i'm so excited it's another guadalupe bass oh yeah man i'm trying to be real careful when i grab these guads because they're hype and they will shake and i do not want to get these troubles in me look at them biting me these things are mean boom fifth fish on the day there's another guad man second guad on the day top water action whopping and plopping out here man i hope you guys are enjoying this whopper plopper video <sighs> awesome check that out man another one one last look at that guadalupe i'm gonna put him back in the water see if we can get us another fish that's five man johnny five is alive and top water is so much fun dude i know sometimes i'll get confidence in a bait you guys you guys have seen it you know like with the fluke i'll get a little bit of confidence in a bait and i'll just throw it dude once i start having fun catching them on something it's almost like I fall in love to my own detriment sometimes probably. Oh, there's a turtle. I'm trying to keep an eye on my bait and the turtle. I'll show you guys right there. Real shallow. Look at him moving. Cruising. Sometimes to my own detriment, you know, I'll fall in love with the bait and probably throw it a little bit too much. But the whopper plopper is a good bait to do that with. Because when you catch them on this thing, man, it's just too much fun. Skitter! There's another one. Fish number six, baby. Get up here, buddy. It's a largemouth. Boom. That's a nice fish. Number six in the mix out here on the Whopper Plopper, man. That is just awesome that guys plipping and plopping top water explosions out here in the summertime and i am happy your boy is happy finding them in the shade up in the cuts and they're eating a plopper and another one man this is just too awesome guys smacking them up in here in the shade in cover on the whopper plopper top water action number six in the mix that's another little chunky largemouth right there man so much fun out here today man this is just too much fun six in the mix on the plopper let's get it i'm gonna do a little a little release on my story for my instagram people for those of you that aren't following me on instagram head on over there and do that at the justin royal on instagram i post content all the time stuff that you don't get to see on my youtube channel so if you're interested in seeing more about that go head on over to instagram smash that follow button get a little release here for my story riders hope everybody's out there having a good day too awesome out here plipping and plopping getting it done whopper plopper was the name of the game once you get that first one once you get that first top water hit man that, that's all the motivation you need that'll keep you going right there at least for me shoot i got confidence to throw this thing all day now no question too much fun and there it was guys i hope you enjoyed that top water whopper plopper plipping and plopping action out here on lake travis that was awesome man six in the mix all on the top water bait had several more explosions that we missed potentially could have caught more fish but to get six in the boat on top water is just outstanding man i feel so stoked to have been able to come out here and get them to eat the whopper plopper for you guys i know i've been throwing a lot of the same baits lately and you guys have been itching to see some different types of catches here on the channel and i am so happy to be able to bring that to you guys in this video today man and if you enjoyed yourself, please sub the channel. I know I say that a lot, but I'm trying to grow this thing to 10K. And sometimes people on YouTube need reminding. So I have to let you know multiple times throughout the video. 
subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching man much love click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed yourself check the links below down in the description and leave me a comment because i love interacting with you guys down there in the comment section on youtube it's one of my favorite things to do one of my favorite things about making videos is the interaction that i have with the people who choose to watch and subscribe to my channel so much love to all of you thank you very much i appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos and i'll see you on the next one